right, sheep's head. Let's talk about sheep's head and how to catch some sheep's head. Now, why do they call this interesting fish a sheep's head? Well, it's because of these teeth. Look at those teeth. They look just like sheep's teeth. But some people say they look like human's teeth. I hear it all the time. Now, sheep's head look like black drum, but sheep's head have a whole full back dorsal fin, where a black drum does not. And sheep's head, of course, have the black and silvery white stripes. So they're pretty easy to identify. Now, sheep's head love to feed on crustaceans. What are crustaceans? Well, like these fiddler crabs here. But, you know, the list is long. You, they love shrimp, oysters, clams, mussels, barnacles, sand fleas, etc. Now, we're going to talk about fiddler crabs and mussels because those are two of the most popular baits that you can use locally here in South Carolina for sheep's head. I would talk about the other baits that I described, but that is another story. Now, where do sheep's head feed? Well, sheep's head loves structure. That's right, because structure is where a lot of crustaceans attach themselves. You have your barnacles, your oysters, and your mussels attach themselves to the structure. And then, of course, crabs and stuff find safety hiding amongst all the other crustaceans. Now, good locations to find sheep's head are along bridge footers, pier footers, dock pillars, uh, rocks, jetties, because that's a good place for crustaceans to attach themselves. But don't forget, sheep's head love to go up into the marshes during high tide to feed for the, on those fiddler crabs and mud crabs and mussels. And of course, periwinkles. Now, South Carolina is definitely not known for its clear water. But if the water's clear enough and you look down around the structure, you can see sheep's head feeding. Now, that's great because then you can sight fish them. But most of the time, the water's dark. Okay, so you have to figure out and guess where they are going to feed and place your bait. Now, if you could look under the water in the structure, what would you see? Now, I have obtained myself some fiddler crabs and some mussels. And now I'm going to attempt to target and catch some sheep's head off of the Mount Pleasant Pier here in South Carolina. And the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make up a sheep head rig. Okay? Now, a lot of people like to use big hooks for sheep's head. I like to use small hooks. I prefer owner and gamagatsu either in size 4 or size two. And I don't like to use heavy, heavy weight. I usually try to keep my weight either between a one ounce egg weight or three quarter ounce egg weight. And the rig we're going to use is the ever so popular Carolina rig. Now you start with your fight line going through your egg weight, then you tie to a swivel, at least a 20 pound to 30 pound, then a length of fluorocarbon. I use 20 pound fluorocarbon. You can use heavier. And one of my number four or number two, hooks, okay? Now, these hooks are uh, considered an octopus or mosquito hook or a bait hook, okay? Now, we are going to start with a fiddler crab. Now, this is a male fiddler crab, and they got the big white claw. I always like to keep the claw facing down. Then I take the hook, and I go to the side of the crab on the top, and I push through the side and then come out through the belly. Now, in most cases, the crab stays alive and it can walk around freely on the bottom while you're fishing. And if you notice, you cannot tell that that hook is there. You know it's there because you just saw me put it there. But if you're looking at a small distance, you'll never know that that small hook is in that crab. And either will the sheep's head. Now, for those of you wondering, how do you rig a mussel for sheep's head? 
Now, I have been doing this for years, so I'm going to show you how I rig a muscle for sheep's head. And I've caught a lot of sheep's head. Now, the first thing I do is I take a dull blade and I twist and drill a small hole in the seam in the center of the muscle. Okay, that's on the opposite side of the hinge now. The hinge is on facing the palm of my hand. Then I leave the blade and push it through into the muscle and leave the blade in it to create a space. Now, the small hole is actually for the eyelet on your hook. So you can drop the eyelet into the muscle. Now, I'll take my small hook here, okay? I'm going to hold the muscle back up, and I'm going to show you how I insert the hook, leaving the knife in. Now, I take the hook, always facing the hook towards the muscle, and I put the eyelet through the hole. Then, after I get it through the hole, I slide the rest of the hook right in through the space that I've got the knife holding open for me. Then I pull my line up towards the back of the hinge. Okay? Then, I remove the knife. And when I pull it, the muscle closes itself back up because it's perfectly alive. Now, a sheep's head, and it will have to be a good size one now, can grab this muscle and swallow it and crush it with its powerful jaws and eat it. And when it does, if you play your cards right, it gets the hook as well. Now, when it comes to the rod and reel, I prefer a bait cast reel. One, because it holds a lot more line and it has a lot more torque. But I like to use about 20 pound test monofilament. I don't use braid too much when it comes to sheep's head, and that's mostly because sheep's head are around a lot of structure, especially concrete. And concrete cuts braid pretty quickly if it gets dragged along the concrete, where the monofilament kind of rolls across it. Just remember this, micro crystals cut microfibers. Now, if you look, I have my rod in hand. You can put a rod in a rod holder and wait it out and wait for a bite, but Sheep's head, they're like ninjas. They are very sneaky. They can get your bait pretty quick. One of the biggest tricks to a sheep head is to lean into the bite, okay? So if you feel the bite, lean forward a little bit, lean with it, let the sheep head take it. That way when it crushes your bait and vacuums it in its mouth, it doesn't pull it off the hook. You want it to actually take the hook in as well. Then go for your hook set. All right. Now, I have worked with a lot of people when it comes to fishing for sheep's head, and they turn out to be pretty successful most of the time. Most of them become a natural. They get that feel for it. Like this young lady here just caught her first sheep's head. So I'm going to get a picture of her with her first sheep's head. And that is an accomplishment because, you know, these fish are not easy to catch if they were. Everybody would be landing them left and right like nothing. Okay, so like I was showing you earlier, I've got my rod in hand. Every now and then I look down around the structure to see if I spot a sheep's head. And sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. But the great part is if you do, you can sight fish them. If you don't, it doesn't mean you're not about to get a bite. And before you know it, with a little bit of patience...
All right. That was a fight and a half. Now, the objective with Sheep is you can see this big bad boy here. Let's see how big he is. We'll weigh him here shortly. But with these sheep's head like this, this time of year, now it's only November, and uh, as it gets colder, we get towards January and February, you have a really good chance of getting a big sheep's head like this, but the bait that I'm showing you to use is what you want to use. It's not big hooks that do it. It's smaller hooks that do it. You don't want big, big hooks. But some of the bait that I'm using right here is gonna guarantee you a big sheep's head because a small one can't take the bait that I'm using. But anyway. So if you look closely, you'll see that hook is just in the tip of the nose, right in the lip, right in the lip. That's it, that little hook did all that. Hey, they don't need a big monster hook. It's a little hook. All right, the size of that beast. I gotta get a couple of cell phones. Well, all right. I hope you all enjoyed learning some of my sheephead fishing techniques. Man, I'm giving all my techniques away. <laughs> nah, I have plenty more where they came from. Just remember, I am a fishing instructor and a guide. If you need some extra help or you need a guide to put you in the right place at the right time, look me up. I can help you out. Anyway, for all my fans out there, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. For those of you watching for the first time, do not forget, look down, there is a subscribe button. It only lets you know when I have more shows available. So make sure you click that bell so the notifications will tell you when those shows are available. <laughs> well, all right. Like I always say, good luck out there and have fun fishing. Catch you next time.